Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I was looking at articles in Windows' latest website, and um, every month since January, they have been uh, nagging Microsoft pretty much with that famous update on Windows 10 that doesn't install, which is KB5034441. Every month, I also get quite a lot of viewers here that say, well, you know, is it fixed? And um, it shows you, once again, the disconnect, first of all, of the Windows Update team. And, um, you know, I, a lot of people are like, well, you should do this and you can just modify the partition. And it's like, yeah, don't. People don't do that. And what happens is that some people don't even have a recovery partition. They just installed and that's it. And it's the way that it should be. It's, you install it the way you want. Not the way, there's no specific way of installing something. And that's what Windows is. And that's why, of course, Microsoft not thinking about that update, especially since it's not an update that um, most users need. Uh, once again, you know, the simple thing, and I think that is, is clear. First of all, a home user should not have this update going through. It should check version of Windows you have. Say, no, you don't need it. For pro users, um, it's a different thing if you want to use BitLocker. Yeah, there's a security flaw. But if you don't use BitLocker, then there should be a way for it to check. Are you using BitLocker? You're not. Don't install once again. You would have avoided tons of problems with that. And their, of course, famous page where they have all the known issues and the uh, notifications about issues they have. You know, it's still there. I mean, this is from January 9th, 2024. Um, it was last updated on February for some new scripts that are available. But it's still broken. And, you know, they still end with no um, no ETA, no, when is it gonna be fixed or not? You know, it says here, next step, we are working on a resolution and we'll provide an update in an upcoming release. Um, I don't know, this it shows the uh, inability of the Windows Update team to do things correctly. And uh, then we had, of course, another update that you know had issues in Windows 10 that Windows Update team, I think, is is right now a failure. They really need to make things better. And uh, this is one example. Expecting, especially with the documentation, expecting everyone to do what they're asking, which is way beyond the capability of a big majority of users. So, uh, you know, hang in there. But um, for those that are always telling me, oh, when you know, did they fix it? Is it coming soon? I don't know. I would not expect to have this fixed tomorrow morning. That's for sure. So um, once again, you know, I posted a video on how to hide it. It's the best thing, perfect way to just get rid of it is to hide it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.